Hey, what's up guys? So I had dropped a video recently where I talked about how I can enhance some pre-made designs or really any design, even if I'm making like text only designs by just applying nice looking color schemes. And I mentioned that one of my favorite tactics is uh, borrowing, if you will, good color schemes that I like uh, really from anywhere on the internet. It could be in real life. Just take a picture, upload it, you know, use the little eyedropper tool. And I have a habit of just writing down color schemes that I like. I even just created a um, shared drive with Marielle, my girlfriend, who we're, we're collaborating on this new Etsy shop together. And I was like, you know what? We should have a place where we just share like our color schemes too. Cause we're, you know, sharing fonts, sharing graphics, sharing color schemes. So anyways, um, we'll just like highlight the color code in the color that it is. And it makes it nice, easy to visualize. But someone had reached out to me and sent me a link to a website that basically specializes in helping us generate color palettes. Uh, I haven't used one of these websites really since I was last working as a web developer, but uh, I definitely used to use stuff like this for like in the context in my mind of websites, but it definitely works with print on demand too. So I'm gonna show you how we can utilize some uh, pre-built color palettes from this website. So why don't we get started? Real quick reminder, in the description, I've got a link to my free print-on-demand giveaway. The winners will be randomly selected and announced on Sunday. My eight-day print-on-demand mini course delivered via email and my print-on-demand Facebook group. So make sure you guys take advantage of all those. Again, completely free. All right, so I'm going to show you this website, uh, Coolors. It's like colors, but with two O's. Uh, I'm going to show you this website in just a second. And there's other websites like it. Uh, but I really, you know, this one looks really nice and basically gives us exactly what we need. It's one click away. It's free. They do have a paid version, but I don't really think we need to worry about upgrading to the paid version. What they have for free should be definitely uh, more than enough. And uh, I also just wanted to kind of piggyback off of that video that I had done previously and just show you that, you know, if you're thinking, well, what am I going to do with these color palettes? Like I said, number one, you can make your own text only designs. Uh, it's, you know, there's a million ways you can make designs for print on demand that don't involve having uh, artistic ability. Like, for instance, you can just name a word. Like in this case, I'm using I'm looking at nursing pre-built designs on Creative Fabrica behind me. But let's just say you don't want to use Creative Fabrica. No worries. Like. You can literally just make, this just popped into my mind, but we've seen it work before. You can just write the word nurse in a good looking font, replicate it 10 times if you want. You know what I mean? Just, just each row is the word nurse once and then color each row a different um, color. And you know what I mean? Each row of text a different color. Or in this case, like we'll use some pre-built designs. This is a bundle of 20 different designs from Creative Fabrica. And we're just going to basically go to the color scheme website and apply some of these colors to the very like flat black and white uh, nursing designs from this bundle. I will link to Creative Fabrica. If anybody's not a member, wants to check it out, you can join for a dollar. Also, I will link directly to this bundle in case you don't want to join Creative Fabrica, but you do want to check out the bundle. Uh, no worries there. So anyways, let's jump on over to uh, the color website. All right. So we are here on coolers.co. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's C-O-O-L-O-R-S.co. I will link to it in the description. And um, I'll link you directly to the trending palettes, actually, because this is a nice place to go if you don't have anything specific in mind. Uh, lots of really nice complementary color schemes listed right here. There is an art to it. I'm not going to pretend to be like an expert, but I'm pretty sure it involves like selecting colors in the same hue which is like the level of saturation of that color. If you start mixing different saturations of colors, it tends not to be very cohesive. And it is a very common, you know what's really common really quickly is that people I don't think design with the shirt color, like with one specific shirt color in mind. For instance, if you're uploading to Merch by Amazon and you're gonna offer it in black, just go and grab the black t-shirt and uh, move it as your background for your design template. That way you know how your design is gonna be framed and how it's gonna look to the end user because you really need that to look really good. Um, so for instance, we're doing a merch black t-shirt. Okay, well, we should select color schemes that are gonna be contrasting really well in the foreground against that black t-shirt background. Do you get what I'm saying? Because that primary thumbnail really needs to be good to get clicked, to get purchased, etc. Anyways here, so as you can see, this is like the trending color palettes I didn't have to do anything to get these to be generated. Um, they are just here right now. If they are truly trending, then I would anticipate that these will change with time. 
Uh, but they've got you know pretty wide variety here to choose from uh, given that this is really just color and I'm sure they could just use AI probably to generate complementary color schemes as well um, that they, they probably have just infinite options <laughs> if I had to guess and you can actually see how many times they've been favorited kind of implying usage I really like this one behind me here for instance as like a little like vintage kind of uh, color scheme now I'm thinking about doing these nursing shirts so what should we do for nursing shirts maybe how about this one right here uh, this kind of what do I call it like a lot of purples on this palette. Do they actually Name the palette. No, they just call it palette. Okay. Well, anyways, so you can just click in here That's what's really cool too. It copies the hex the hexadecimal color code To your clipboard just from clicking it. So it's like very easy to use now again I went and I downloaded this pack of designs from creative fabrica There's 20 of them right here and I opened up um, What like four of them in Photoshop? Just to really quickly show you how much of a breeze this is to do now we're not doing rocket science here <laughs> this is pretty basic uh but things don't need to be complicated like also i've said this before but you don't get bonus points for spending more time on your designs right like if i go and i ask uh, juna at detour shirts you know a great youtube channel for print on demand for design if i say hey man like come up with your best nursing design and I try to make one as good as I possibly can. It's probably going to take me like 20 times longer to come up with anything remotely close to as good as what he's going to crank out in 20 minutes. You get what I'm saying? Because he's a professional. He's really good. And I'm Mr. You know, go do pre-built design or pre-made designs or go do text only, right? Keep it simple. Stick to my strengths. So hopefully you guys get what I'm saying. Like just because you put more time and effort in, if it doesn't manifest in the form of a better design, then it's almost always a better option to keep it simple. Just let the you know experts do what they do, right? That's why Creative Fabric is a pretty good option, especially when you can join for a dollar. So, all right, let's go ahead and start like filling in these colors. First, I'll probably, well, I don't know. I won't fill in the background or maybe I will. I'll just make it like gray or something um, so that we at least have a background there or I guess blue. I don't know. Not even following my own advice. Four, 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 four. Okay. That's what I meant to do. And then I'm just going to kind of click in and use the, so when I click into the color on the uh, color palette, it copies it to the clipboard. So then I just go into Photoshop, click the color swatches there for the color selector. And I just hit paste or control uh, V on windows. And I've got my paint bucket tool and then I can just make sure I'm on the right layer here. So the layers are behind me, make sure you got the right layer selected and then just click. And this is basically almost a white. So we don't have to use white. Um, it looks like we've got, we could maybe use the white. I don't know. We can decide later. Actually, I'll switch to the next color now. Whoops. Don't forget after you click the color palette to actually set that to your color in uh, Photoshop or whatever you're using. Feeling stabby nurse is what this design says. All right. Whoops. I keep forgetting to actually set the color as I like recommend doing it. I don't follow my own advice naturally. All right, click that color. Okay, so there we go. And now when I actually set the background to black, the reason I didn't want to set the background to black right away is because I was worried that the foreground, which was black, would disappear completely. You know what I mean? So then I'd have a lot uh, tougher time uh, actually targeting it. So there you go. I mean, wouldn't you say we just made that design look better? It took maybe one minute to do. Uh, we'll jump on over here to um, a different one here. I'm going to change the background again, though, to like this gray just so that we can do what we just did there. I'll do it on all of these really quickly in case we end up using all of them. We can actually set a little timer here and just see how long it takes us to enhance these designs, right? I have a feeling it won't take that long. We can even switch to another color palette. Let's just pick one at random uh, for fun. So will trade medical advice for tacos. I mean, that's pretty funny. Um, who doesn't love a good taco there? <laughs> and then, I mean, the gray background doesn't look as good. So really quickly, just so we see, um, you know, when you switch it to black, I think it just contrasts much better against black. So I think that looks pretty good as well. Wouldn't be my first uh, color choice. I really like this one behind me here. If I duck my head down, this one right here. Actually, no, I like both of them. Hmm. How about this one right here? We'll do that one. So I'll open up this palette. <laughs> Got like that vintage look. All 
all right another nice looking design there and we got one left to go so let's jump on over to the uh, pediatric nurse grab one more color palette um the rainbow maybe i don't know no nah, let's not go to the rainbow how about this super pastel -y one All right, there we go. So we got four designs that we just tricked out using, uh, well, just using color schemes uh, from a free website. So that is one easy way of taking some pre-built designs from a place like Creative Fabrica where you can save time for a very little bit of money and uh, hopefully generate a lot more money in return. And even though I just did another video on a very similar topic, it is always nice to have basically infinite um, complimentary color palettes at your fingertips. I do uh, appreciate it when you guys send me these little suggestions so that I can share them with the rest of the community. So if you have more, keep them coming. I do appreciate that. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button. I do have a full print on demand course, by the way, the link is in the description. If you want to check that out, thank you guys for watching and I will see you tomorrow with a new video.